we don't know them that well, but we'll be prepared when we play them. Raina Williams and the Lady Patriots are ready to face Mansfield Timberview in big board sports. So Veterans of Memorial will play Mansfield Timberview in the Class 5A state semifinals tonight at the Alamo Dome. Lady Patriots win 16-0 in district and have 31 wins and 7 losses this season. They reach state by beating Kerrville Tyvee in the regional final 24-23. The Timberview Wolves are always good and will be tough to beat. They are 31-8 this season and ranked 12th in the state. The Lady Patriots are ranked 43rd and looking to upset the Wolves. It's going to be exciting, you know, hoping it's going to be exciting just knowing that, you know, we had this opportunity and that we've been working so hard towards getting this, that you know, all of our hard work paid off. I know that they're big, they're fast, and they're a lot more aggressive towards the basket than we've been playing more shooting teams. So we're really trying to pack it in the paint this time. All right, girls high school basketball class 5A state semifinals, Mansfield and Veterans Memorial scheduled for tonight, 830 at the Alamo Dome. And for the first time in over two decades, the Fredericksburg girls basketball team is heading to the state tournament. The Lady Batlin Billies defeated Salado in the regional final, and now they have a chance to make even more history. Andrew Seeley has more. And that's it, folks. Billies in the final four state tournament. The seeds of Fredericksburg's breakthrough moment were planted in a trophy case just a few feet away from the entrance to their gym, a plaque honoring the last team that advanced to state in 1995. Ever since middle school, we've, we've been coming to varsity games and peeking our heads, touching the glass, you know, and looking through. We've always, like, looked in the trophy case and been like, hey, like, we want to be one of those teams, you know, and finally, like, the dream is coming true and we're being able to go and kind of make our mark. And being that we've hit third round, second round, fourth round the past few years, like we're finally getting past that time and it's like all of our hard work is paying off. The reason why this year's team broke through is pretty simple. Everybody's motivated. Everybody comes to practice each day um, ready to work. It's not one of us. It's not two of us. It's not a star player. It's everyone. Everybody wants to get better at their role. Fredericksburg will have their work cut out for them in the state semis against five-time defending state champion Argyle, but they know exactly what they need on game day. Have confidence and make, making sure that everything that we do is shored up, um, secure. They know what we're doing, that there's no question about what we do as a program. Calm, cool, collected, and confident, and that's what you have to remember whether you're playing your first game of district or if you're playing in the Alamo Dome for state tournament. The Batlin Billies will take on Argyle in the Class 4A state semifinals. That's currently scheduled for a 3 p.m. tip-off on Friday afternoon at the Alamo Dome. From Fredericksburg, Andrew Seeley, KSAT 12 Sports. Thanks, Andrew. So Argyle and Fredericksburg will play tomorrow at 3 p.m. That's Class 4A and in Class 6A, Duncanville and defending champion, the Judson Rockets. That's Friday night, 8.30 at the Dome. If you're just a basketball fan, it's just fun to get you a ticket and go down there and sit in the stands and, and watch basketball. Heck yeah, it it's is. a lot of fun. Yep. So enjoy yourself. All right, Larry, thanks. You got it. All right, downtown. SLS. Speaking of fun, I don't, do they shoot hoops down there? Every now and then, y'all shoot hoops. We can. We have. We've we had Globetrotters on the show. We've had <laughs> yes. Spurs on the show. Mm -hmm, we sure there have. But we had a basketball court here, too, one time. Remember? Yes. <laughs> We're not doing that today, however. <laughs> no. But we are having a whole lot of fun. If you're thinking about things to do yes. over spring break with the kids, how about a little clay and painting. Look at this. We have Aaron Rassiopi with Clay Casa and I love this idea right here. Tell me about what you have there. Right. So Clay Casa is an awesome place to come for spring break, spend some time, get creative. And the um, end of the school year is coming up really soon. So what we're showing here are some awesome um, personalized class projects, great gifts for teachers. Come on in. It's super easy. We'll send you out with some paint and pottery, get some thumbprints, and we will custom finish the pieces for you. That is a gift to give. That is awesome. That Thank is you fantastic. so much. Yes. All right. Hey, Dr. Deb is going to join us, and she always has some great ideas. She's got some healthy swaps. So what you want to eat, but what you might want to swap it out with that is much, Ooh, much better helpful. for you. Yeah, she's got some great ideas with that. And speaking of really healthy, this looks really healthy here. That yeah. looks beautiful. That's something I think my kids would actually try, and it's mm -hmm. good for you. We're going we're gonna to tell you where this is from and how to make it. Too. Chia in there, and then also mm -hmm. a great smoothie on top yes. of that. Okay, that's the healthy stuff, and now, hey, Cheeky. tacos. <laughs> yeah, the squeeze box and 20 to put it on event. We're going to tell you about that. But our question is your go-to taco. Uh, any taco in front of me? No? I like that idea. <laughs> And then, is it breakfast taco or regular taco? Uh, or there's so many. I can't wait to see the answers I we know. get. I yeah. know. We'll figure that out. <laughs> Coming up on SA Live. Never 
don't miss a story. Watch live or when you want. San Antonio's latest news and weather. Streaming free on KSAT TV. Hey, we got a quick correction for you. Earlier in the show, we told you about a hotline that Metro Health has opened up. The number was incorrect on the screen. Here's the right number for that coronavirus hotline. It's 210-207-5779. You can call during business hours each weekday. I believe it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can get more information on our website right now at KSAT.com. And we just made it to 70 even. We should be up around 73 this afternoon. Sunny skies, beautiful day. A little chilly tomorrow morning, 45, but 70 on your Friday, mostly sunny. Saturday looks good too. More clouds on Sunday, maybe some slight chances of rain early next week. But it stays warm. 70s almost across the board there. And of course, uh, don't forget to spring forward Saturday night, Sunday morning. Boo. <laughs> that's, uh, that's the whole sentiment of the newsroom, I think, at this point. We are springing downtown now. They actually had some, you know, they got all that great food. They actually have some healthy drinks down there today. So I'm going to tune in for that and find out some good healthy food to eat. Healthy drinks. Healthy, healthy drinks and food. Healthy drinks and food. Because SA Live starts right now. Whether it's for a sick day or a cold day, soup is just good for the soul. We're learning a delicious, easy recipe you can try at home. And David Elder takes us to a plant-based burger stand to keep the flavor in your diet and also for Lent. Plus, for all you parents out there, we're talking car seats, recommendations, tips and tricks, the do's and don'ts, and all the fun facts. SA Live starts right now. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. It's a beautiful, beautiful Thursday. Just a nice day to take a little stroll, sit back, and have somebody just kind of push you right along. I know. While I you be enjoy that. a beverage. I'm be there. Yes, it's a beautiful day. This is Mike Osterhage. I'm Jen Tobias Jeske in for Fiona today. It's a great day because we're talking tacos, and we're going to tell you yep. how you can get some free tacos, but you have to stick around. We're not going to tell you yet. Which got us thinking what is your go to taco? Mm. If you could just go, okay, I want a. What would it be? What would it be? Oh, me, a uh, chicken fajita on corn with guac and cheese. You're getting really specific, <laughs> aren't we yes. now? Uh, I guess it would have to be, well, if it's not a breakfast taco, which would be <laughs> either bacon, egg, and cheese, or uh -huh. potato, egg, and cheese, um, I'm going to have to go beef fajita on a flour tortilla. And with all the, the, all the fixings. Yeah, the swat, sour cream. Look at how I'm steering off and I'm picturing I know. this right now. I know. We're this hungry. With, uh, <laughs> with the, the, the grilled onions mm, yes, and green it. peppers sizzling, in there. Sizzling, so. sizzling when it comes out, all of that. Well, what's yours? We want to know. Tag us at SA Live KSAT, Facebook or Twitter. We might show your answers a little later in the show. See if there's one that's more popular than the other. taco looks pretty oh good. Oh my gosh, she's going for it. Don't do it, Mike. We're talking healthy food now. Let's transition over. It is spring. Maybe you want to look good for spring break. We have someone here that can help us with some easy and delicious recipes. Yes, indeed. Andrea Aguirre from the Juice Experiment is going to show us some of these easy and healthy options. How are you? Good, and you? Thank uh, you for inviting very me. Very well, very well. Thank you. So, all right, what do we got going here today? Okay, so we're going to start with a little bit of a chia pudding. Okay. And chia this is pudding. great for the kids at home for mm -hmm. this next week. Yes. And chia, you can't go wrong with chia, right? And exactly. it's pretty easy to make. It's really, really easy to make. So just you pour this. Pour it. What does chia do for you? It's it's a really good antioxidant. Mm -hmm. It gives you a lot of energy. So it's a really mm -hmm. good uh, option for breakfast. And this is oatmeal? This is oatmeal. You can pretty much use oat, uh, coconut, soy, pretty much. I'm just eyeing it. Your, okay. But one cup for one cup, correct? Correct. Okay. And then you just kind of let that... You just have to stir it a little while. bit with one of the spoons okay. that we have on that side. And, and when that goes into the fridge, then it would come out and it would be just like this, right? So that would be the, the chia pudding. Correct. Why is this one purple? Okay, so this one we add a little bit of dragon fruit powder. Mm -hmm. And that makes it a little bit more fun for kids. I love the texture. And you can even add to uh, your chia a little bit of honey, mm -hmm. um, coconut um, sugar, mm -hmm. a little bit of uh, cinnamon. Ooh, cinnamon well, sounds, sounds good. good. I but know. We're going to make basically parfaits here. Correct. And this is what we can, somebody can do at your place, right? 
Yes. So okay. you can order this there. What I like about this is I've made chia pudding before, but I've never done it like this. I think this way my kids will actually try it. Yes, and it's really, really easy if you're in a hurry. Just a grab and go type of breakfast. Yes. So and it's many, really fun to do for the how kids. How many different ingredients can folks choose from to mm -hmm. make their, their parfait? Basically, we have our uh, main chia, almond butter, mm -hmm. and uh, seasonal fruits which we normally carry blueberry, bananas, mm -hmm. uh, strawberries, and blackberries and raspberries. Okay, and then what does the almond butter do for you? We normally pair it with uh, the chia pudding because it's a kind of like a kick for your morning start. Because mm -hmm. um, you could do peanut butter if you wanted to, but I know almond butter is a little bit better, right, it, for uh, you? So. Almond butter is a little bit more on the healthy side. Okay. Yes. And I do like almond butter. I think it's delicious. I like so this jam you have looks really amazing. Tell yeah, me about we, that jam. We this is our house jam. It's a four berry jam. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it has a little bit of all of our berries. Well, I'll tell a you what, this is colorful of, as can be. Yeah. I'm gonna pop, you want a little, yep, yep, a little yep. bit of this in there? That's yeah. a sure, great source of antioxidants. <laughs> there you go. All right. For your morning. So as we are digging into this, if somebody wants something a little quicker, kind of one handed, go to the old smoothie, right? Correct. This is a tropical type of smoothie. It's called Texas Paradise. Beautiful. And it's, it has pineapple, mango, a little bit of kale. I know that a lot of people are scared about kale, but I guess that it, like with this type of uh, mixture, it's really, really good for kids mm -hmm. and for these um, sunny weather. And, and I, I love how she puts it in the bag, right? Where you going there? Because this is something you can do at home and yes. even when you're meal prepping. And look how easy this is. You just pour it It right is in. really, really easy to store. So you could do that on a Sunday. And if everybody liked, you know, somebody didn't like the kale or they wanted strawberries instead of blueberries or something like that, and you can put them in little Ziploc bags and then just go in the morning and add the, yeah. the liquid to it, right? It's really, really easy to make. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the colors. I always say, right, the, the more colorful, the better for you. This one has orange juice, a mm -hmm. little bit of green apple. Oh, apple So too. it can still kind of be on the healthy, healthy side. Not a lot, lot of sugar and we add a tiny bit of blue spirulina and acai so that's the Juice. stuff that you can get in the Ooh, acai, acai bowls acai. that's the liquid yes. version of it okay you have this all the, bit of, the power foods going on in there yes a little bit of everything all right give that a quick zap and this is what it and what i love is such a healthy option because uh, it's right next to your other place, the Art of Donut. Exactly. So you so have yeah. the contrast there, the healthy. We and can the, balance it out. Yes, and which this, is always nice. This is what is all in there. Correct. Mm. And you are located then. We're by uh, North St. Mary's and Mulberry Avenue. It's mm -hmm. three four three eight North St. Mary Street. All you know, right. with all the kale in there, you think, okay, it's going to taste like it. No, it tastes like fruit. It doesn't nice and sweet. taste. Yeah. That's right. These are all really tasty. This. I know. Thank you so Thank you, Andrea. Much Thank you for inviting me. Live.com for more information. All right. Well, of course, we are right in the middle of Lent right now, and you may be looking for something really tasty to replace meat for yes. 40 days. Well, you can get something pretty similar. It tastes like it, right? Mm -hmm. David Elder takes us inside a veggie burger joint. You don't want to miss this. Take a look. We're headed off Nacogdoches and 410 for a burger joint that is earth friendly. This is Earth Burger. Earth Burger has been around for a couple of years and they've made quite an impact on the Central Texas burger scene. Earth Burger is the best. I love the ice cream, the coconut serve. There's like no dairy in it, and so it was really good. I loved it. And now they're launching a brand new menu item the Ranchero Burger. Crazy. This is actually, so the meat on here is called Beyond Meat, right? Which it, it's not using any kind of animal proteins, but there's a ton of protein actually packed inside of each one of the patties. And then you have fried pickled onions on this thing. This is the Ranchero Burger, and then some sauce on there as well. And that's two patties of goodness right there. Now, I guarantee you it's going to be messy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. 
this, yo. This tastes amazing. And I swear, you wouldn't even know that it's not actual animal protein being used in the burger. The flavors are fantastic. The sauce, you put that on a bowl of cereal, it's gonna be delicious. All the fried elements in there, great textures. The buns are nice and toasted on there as well. Like everything just wants to fall out. This is a messy burger, but you know what? If it's not messy, it's not delicious. I'll tell you that. I'm gonna take another bite. Delicious cheese melted perfectly on top of there as well. This is what you need to get when you come out here. Earth Burger has a lot of Earth-friendly items on the menu, including their charitable. The least we can do as a business is donate a dollar of these bowls to these local nonprofits. We'll continue to uh, alternate through these nonprofits as we go through the years and selecting ones that kind of coincide with what our mission is. It comes with their chicken, right, which is a, a meatless chicken uh, kind of protein that's on here. And then they have all kinds of different veggies on there. So here's the Poblano Ranch. And I'm just gonna pour that bad boy right on top. So I'm gonna get a little bite of everything. I'm gonna try to. My goodness. So you guys gotta come out here. Earth Burger's newest location right here at 410 in Nacogdoches. Delicious food, and there's options that you can also give back to the community as well when you buy one of the items out here. Delicious burgers. I mean, this thing tastes like an actual burger burger. You'll be tricked, I promise you. And it's a really great alternative to consuming all that animal fat and cholesterol. Fantastic stuff. And everybody's really sweet here. There's actually like, just a lot of <laughs> really sweet people. And I promise there won't be a mess from David well, when you come out here. But come out here and get this stuff, man. It's delicious. Still ahead on SA Live, empowering women through running. That's what this nonprofit is all about. We're shining a spotlight on this amazing organization. And next on SA Live, painting pottery fun. Whether you're trying to relax or just have some fun with the kids and your friends, you can try this family fun activity for spring break. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, now that spring break is just around the corner, you might be thinking about how you can spend some extra time with your family and make something gorgeous. Yes, that's right. So how about some painting fun? Joining us now, Erin Rassiope with Clay Costa. Right. And you have some really fun projects that I'm excited about. I think my kids would love this, especially that one that Mike yes. can right. do. Right, so yeah, so you can just come in any time, walk in any time. We're open every day of the week, um, 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Saturdays and, or Fridays and Saturdays. We're even open until 9. Um, but today we're going to do a couple just super easy, fun techniques that look amazing. So you certainly don't have to be an artist to come to Clay Cause, Casa. Cause I think that's what intimidates a lot of people. Like, well, yeah. I, can't, I can't make pictures, I can't draw. Right. It's like, no, not with yeah. this. This creates beautiful artwork, that's and right. like you said, it's easy, right? Right, yep, and for all ages. So we've got little Ooh. tiny babies coming and doing their footprints. Um, grandma's bringing in their kids, grandkids. Aww. It's, um, yeah, something for everybody. So what are we starting with? All right, so the first thing we're going to do is um, stickers are the easiest way to do lettering. And so okay. um, you can put the, if I finish that up and put the E on there, just you press it easy, down. You said easy, no Sure. Yeah. Well, me, Don't I'm going to get this nice straight. and crooked. There you go. Ah. All right. <laughs> so, yeah. There we go. So, stickers, if you stick them down first and then paint over them, you'll peel them off and get super nice letters. So, um, we started on the outside, but now let's get the inside here. We're okay. going to do the marbling technique. Ooh. So, see, these are some examples of the marbling. It's kind of like the flow painting acrylic thing. Um, so, we have some watered down white, and then we have you just squirt some of this Let's in the one. cup there. We're going to add some different colors. Like there we go. Yep. All right. And now you're just going to simply pour that into the bowl, the whole thing. Just okay. pour it in there. Why am I scared? Okay. Here we go. <laughs> there we go. This is a super easy one. Hard to mess up. Okay, great. Now, swirl it around in your bowl. Dump out any extra. Get it all the way to the edges. Whoa. Yeah. And then you can dump out the extra just <laughs> right here onto the tray. Okay. There we go. <laughs> and then and the right extra. The edge. Yep. Like this. And that's how you get that really cool and effect. Oh, marbling. I love that. Oh, she's good. <laughs> You've so been doing good. this for a while. Because <laughs> yeah. I know glazing mm -hmm. never looks like what it's going to be when it goes on. What colors that's are right. these going to be? That's right. So these colors here, they'll be a lot brighter when they're finished. This is a sample. This is a plate with all the colors that we have in our studio. Mm -hmm. And they come out this really bright, shiny colors. So for oh, example, wow. um, this bowl is looks kind of uh, lighter orange today. It's going to be this bright orange when it comes out of the kiln. Oh, oh okay. that's good to know. And, and that's nice you had that. And back to the the stickers, you can Ooh, see right there yeah. how yes. she 
peel off the on the SA mm -hmm. right there, and then these other stickers. Yeah, you just peel them right off. Yep, peel you off paint just over like them, that. Peel them off, and you get those perfect letters. Well, that letters. makes it easy. Like you said, uh, you could put your kids' names on it. Mm -hmm. or, or right. Mom yeah, that's or a, that's, dad or... that's a great way to do it. Get the kids' name on. Let the yes. kids just paint all over it, and then yeah. you still get really nice and letters. And a different so. technique to do the inside of okay. this bowl. Okay, right? so we're gonna do the bubbles technique. This okay. is <laughs> super fun. You're going to um, just take this straw and literally blow bubbles into that cup. And there is glaze There's, and we watered it down a little bit. We added a little bit of dish soap. Yep. And so just go ahead and just blow bubbles. Like the chocolate milk bubbles. bubbles you make, right? Yeah. <laughs> Put this spot down here. There you go. It's so quiet right now. Just <laughs> They're gonna spill out right into the bowl. Definitely something I'm sure the kids love doing. There this you right here. Love making a mess. But the best thing is you can come in, make a big mess with us, and that's okay. And then we clean it up. <laughs> All right. Okay. I think your straw might have a hole in it. <laughs> but once Believe it or not, popped, I ran out of breath. <laughs> so we can talk wow. that much. <laughs> okay. So, so then the bubbles will just kind of pop, and then it right. turns into yes. something that looks wow. like this. Oh, I love exactly. that effect. That's that right. is so yeah. cool. So That's we'll gorgeous. take these bowls back to the studio. We're going to dip them in a clear glaze, put them in our kiln. Um, and when they come out, they'll be um, these bright, shiny colors, and you can use them. You could even eat some ice cream or tacos out of them. Ooh, and there you like, go, there you go. And like you said, you can just kind of come in anytime. Right. Now, if you have a party, mm -hmm. and this right. was a right here, we do birthday parties. We is do parties. a great idea because you have a birthday party, which call ahead for that, but everybody mm -hmm. that comes to the party can then put their fingerprints on there, and they the birthday boy or girl can put their hand on there. Right that's right. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So we do. We do um, Parties for kids and adults, you can check it out on our website, claycasa.com. We have um, all different party packages that you can check out and um, come in anytime or book a party. I love that you can just walk in because next week yes. people are going to be out yep. and about for spring That's right. break. So Absolutely. Go see Over there oh. by uh, the Embassy. Right, by the Embassy Theater, so at Bitters and 281. Okay. Oh, all right. Great gifts for grandma too when oh, the kids yes. do something Absolutely. like this. So Aaron, thank you very much. And for more information on Clay Casa, mm -hmm. go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead on SA Live, everything can seem scary when you're a new parent. We have some ways to make sure your car seat is as safe as it can be. And next, running can be more than just exercise. Right here in San Antonio, people are teaching confidence through running. Welcome back to SA Live. Our KSAC Community Spotlight this month features a group that combines fitness and youth counseling. Girls on the Run Bear County inspires young girls to be joyful, healthy, and confident and run the race to the finish. Joining me now, Lori Hicks with the organization. I'm so happy you're here because I can feel your passion when you talk about Thank what you. I'm you glad do. to be here. Thank you for having us. So let's talk a little bit first about the nonprofit. Okay, well, Girls on the Run is a exercise-based program um, that helps girls grades third through eighth make great life decisions, um, both mentally and physically. Um, and it's all based around running, so they have some activity to make sure that it sticks with them throughout their life. I love how it all connects to the running part. So obviously with running, you have to be careful. You have a few stretches to show. Yes, I do. Um, you never want to start any exercise out cold because you could risk injury. So we have what we call dynamic stretching and static stretching. So dynamic is always first, so you want to move a little bit to get the body warmed up. So the first one we're going to do, or I'm going to do, uh, will be high knees because it involves the lower body, which is the major part of your body that you work when you run. Okay. So high knees okay. is just bringing your knees up, mm -hmm. and it's working the lower body, getting the big muscles ready to run. Okay. So after the girls have done all of their running, that's when we move to our static exercise or stretching. Um, one I like to do is for the quads. So if you don't mind, I need you for balance. Okay, you go right ahead. <laughs> so you just grab your leg, pull that's good your one. quad, mm -hmm. and hold it for a little while and get that good stretch right there. Okay. And then you wanna do that while you cool down so that you, again, don't risk injury and you don't get really tight afterwards. Okay, so all of that, very important. Well, what I really love, I was reading up about the nonprofit is everything that comes out of this. It's not just running, it's so much more. Exactly. Um, it's good to see the girls uh, go through the lessons and grow. Uh, some of the girls uh, learn to find their voice, find their confidence. Um, they have, uh, in social media, there's a lot of bullying going on. This gives the girls a chance to gain that confidence to stand up for themselves 
And better yet, stand up for somebody else who maybe can't do it for themselves. So. And you've been doing this five years. I've so been in five there's years. There's a reason. You see the results. You, you're seeing these transformations for these young girls. Yes. Uh, you mentioned one earlier. Do you want to share an example of something that's really hit your heart? Oh, definitely. <laughs> um, one of my young ladies um, from Woodridge Elementary, uh, to see her grow from uh, starting the first day, I can't run, I don't run a run, I don't look like a runner physically, and I'm like, that's okay. All we have to do is start walking first. Mm -hmm. And from walking, it got to, hey, let's run a little bit. Hey, Coach Lori, <laughs> can we run a little faster? Can we run a little more? And 10 weeks later, she ran an entire 5K. Wow. Wow, and she's telling you, come on, coach. Yeah, <laughs> she's dragging me along. I love that. I love that. You know, the kids are always on the gadgets. I have a seven-year-old daughter, so so that's one thing, getting her out. And you said it's just getting them to that point, and right. then everything else falls in place. It does. It does. They forge friendships because there's a group of from upwards of eight to 15 girls. So mm -hmm. it's girls they don't see in their school sometimes. So they're making new friends and going through the rest of grade school with those uh, relationships intact. And you guys need more volunteers, right? We do. We need lots of volunteers uh, from more coaches so we can open up sites at more elementary schools. We need people for our 5K, which will be May 10th, which is on Mother's Day. Happening. So <laughs> what better time to spend with your girl than yes. getting some exercise in for 3.1 miles? I love it. Thank you so much for all you do. And if you would like to volunteer, the information's right there on your screen, 210-901-0167, or find them online. The website's right there on your screen. Thank you so much, Lori, and uh, I hope that you get more volunteers. What a great nonprofit. Thank you so much for having me. Go ahead on SA Live. One ingredient, two soup recipes. We'll tell you the one jar you should always have in your pantry from Fisher and Weezer. And next on the show, we are learning what people are doing right and wrong when it comes to car seats for little ones. Jada Rashan is here with everything you need to know when SA Live continues. Welcome back, everyone. Well, of course, for new parents, keeping those little ones safe, like that little one right there, <laughs> that is top priority, and we have got some great information for you, so yes. really, really on the serious side, listen up to this segment. Yes, Jada Rashawn with No Hi, guys. We love having you on the show. I and love being on the show. Such an important topic today, right? Yes, car seat safety is so important because car seat accidents and crashes are like the leading cause of preventable, preventable deaths in children ages 1 to 13 years old. New parents are always saying, what's the best car seat for me? I know, that's such a complex um, <laughs> question because there are so many car seats on the market, but the best one is the one that you can accurately install properly in your car. So it might take going to the store and getting different car seats and having and trying to put them in there, yes. and this one works. There's different makes and models and different mm -hmm. years of different with different um, cars. So you want to make sure that you can get a safe and accurate install into your car, that's gonna be the best one. And depending on your lifestyle too, there are some that are more convenient for you. Which brings up our first question yes, here. Yes. And you Playing can follow at home. <laughs> and the question is, true or false, more than 50% of car seats are installed improperly. That is actually true. So the, uh, the actual number is that 59% of car seats are installed improperly. That's so I know unfortunate. It's, it's mm -hmm. huge and that's crazy because we spend most of our times in a vehicle with our children. And um, so, you know, improper installation in cars, the safety seat is no longer safe if it's not installed accurately. And anymore. you said that is not just to take up space in the box. Read no. the instructions. Yes. yes, read your manual. Read your car seat manual. Do not throw this out and keep your vehicle owner's manual, manual too because that's going to also help give you information as to where the best place in the back of the car um, seat needs to be installed for sure. Next question. Yes. Infants should always be in a rear-facing car seat, true Actually, or false? yes, they should be in a rear-facing mm -hmm. seat all the time. Um, sometimes people are assuming that a, an infant car seat can be faced forward, but they should always be facing rear. And there's a misconception, there's this idea to just rush and advance yes. your child to the next car seat level. Take your time, parents, yes. because you want your child to meet those weight requirements in your seats and mm -hmm. keep your child rear facing for as long as possible. I and did I, that. I waited as long as I could. I five. You can't, you can't, and I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Backseat. Yes. Backseat. Back seat. Back seat. Back all the Safety time. Safety first. And yes. the other question is, what's wrong? Now, Lots yes. of misuses on okay, this car seat. Let's see here. Okay, so the number one misuse on here is that there is way too that much slack in this car seat. <laughs> Poor now, baby. Yes. Sometimes they're not as obvious as this. Um, a lot of times they're like they're they need 
the straps need to have a zero slack knee. If you take your finger, your pointer finger, and your thumb finger, and you just uh, squeeze them, there mm -hmm. should be zero slack knee. So okay. that's still a little okay. bit too loose. Okay, there you the go. second misuse is going to be the chest plate. This needs to be raised up right at armpit level for the child. This one is one that people take for granted, but the problem is if it's too low, then it creates too much room for the child to potentially be able to fly out of the car yes. seat in yes. conjunction with the loose so even if they're strap. refacing all that stuff, it. it still has to be on there fairly it tight. It needs there. to be snug. Which brings up a jacket. Now, I know we yes. don't wear heavy coats that much here, <laughs> yeah. but don't put them in Do a car seat Do not install your coat. child in a puffy coat because what happens is there's a gap between the car seat straps and the coat. And mm -hmm. what happens if you have to slam on brakes or if there's a car that unfortunately runs in the back or in the side or the front, that child can fly out because yes. they are not snug in that seat. They have to be snug. Okay, very quickly, yes. I'm going to get two points in. Yes. Uh, as far as getting help in putting a car seat in properly. You need to contact a CPS car seat uh, passenger safety technician. Hello, hi San Antonio. And that's that's Jada. Yes. But check um, safekids.org is a okay. great place to visit and be yes. able to check your local listings for someone in your area to help you install it. They'll educate you on how to properly do it. They'll help you also with picking out car seats too for you. And you got 20 seconds. Explain that. Let's talk about Libby. You guys are going on spring break. Yes, Parents yes. need a convenient way to travel because you know we that. don't want to have the excuse that we can't install our this kids in nice. a passenger seat. This is the Wavy Pico car seat, and this is a very portable car seat. You do not have to worry anymore about lugging around a huge car oh seat goodness. with your child. It Look at how portable this backpack. is. Big carry bag yes. as well. <laughs> Absolutely, 22 pounds at minimum, or it's preferred to put actually install your child at age two. Okay. You can take this on the airplane and a the Uber. A lot of very good information. <laughs> yes. And if you want more information, go to our website, salive.com, yes. and there's a link to all Look of those that. websites nice. that Jada was just talking about, especially how to install your car seat yes. properly. Jada, thank you You're very, so very welcome, much. You're so welcome, guys. Thank you, very Jada. Welcome. Lots of great information. Still ahead on SA Live. The do's and don'ts of healthy living, what you should stay away from and what you should be substituting in your day to boost your immune system. And next, two easy, hearty, and delicious soups using one sauce will share this easy recipe, perfect for those busy weeknights. Whether it's cold and gray outside or warm and sunny, soup is just such a good, good meal. Yes, and Deanna Fisher from Fisher & Weezer is here with two soup recipes that'll have you saying, oh, that's too good. <laughs> yes, we do. We have two great recipes, mm -hmm. and we're just going to start by pouring a little of these chopped vegetables in. Okay. And Fiona, if you could put a little of that meat in, mm -hmm. that'd be great. That's pancetta. And some garlic in there. And you said this is easy stuff because most of this you usually have just in your pantry. Yes. If, you know, a lot of people always ask me, what's a great thing to have in the pantry? What should I have in my pantry? Well, you have to have a great pasta sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're using Mom's here today, Mom's marinara. And then chicken broth and some canned tomatoes or canned beans and you're ready to go. Okay. Okay. Let's see, Fiona, if we can kind of scoop some of this out. Mm -hmm. And you are going to go ahead and throw this kale in. This, what we're making over here, is a ribolita soup. You want to try that for mm -hmm. me? Thanks. This is a Italian bean soup, mm -hmm. and um, it's a hearty peasant style soup. So you just you're going to have some greens, and we're going to have some bread in there. If you're a Bregan, you don't have to put bread in there. So anyway, now let's go ahead with the tomatoes. All right, and obviously the kale would cook down just a little bit, kind of like yes, uh, and and you can have it as crisp as you like it. Cook it as long as you like. Now, yeah, we'll do the garlic mm -hmm. and the. Um, chopped vegetables over here, and this is a wonderful creamy tomato soup. Yes. So it's favorite. the major comfort food that we have. And now you can go ahead and pour your broth in, and you can pour your mom's marinara in. And with the broth, I'm putting the uh, marinara in. Yes. Okay. That's right. Now, and see how easy and fast this is. Yeah, and if you make a big, and just let it kind of simmer to get all mm -hmm. those flavors going, but if you make a big batch, does this uh, freeze pretty good? Yes, and actually the ribolita is amazing on the second day. So you're going to stir that mm -hmm. up, and now we can put the broth. Because okay. it, it really just needs to heat through. How many different types go. of mom's marinaras and recipes oh, we, we have? Oh, we have about five okay. different types of mom sauces. For, and you know, our first original sauce is the garlic and basil, whole cloves of garlic and fresh basil. And um, so it's just a really great, uh, fast, home-style tomato sauce. And then for the cream, you can just put about a quarter of a cup or however you want it, however light you want it to be. 
And this being a nice and hearty soup, uh, day-old bread is perfect for yes, this, right? Yes, perfect. A little bit of that goes in there. And then the beans, the canned beans. So there you go. Stir Ooh. that up and we have a finished product here. And, and how's that looking? So good. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So it's very simple. You can make it after coming home from work. Something great for the kids, uh, for the whole family. And when you have those soups on the stove and the smell just mm -hmm. fills the house like that. That's right. Here's something for y'all to Alrighty. both try. This is Thank the, the Ribelita. Oh. So good with all those. Mm. This right there. Mmm. That is tasty. And so easy. So good. And again, nice mm -hmm. nice and hearty like that. Mm -hmm. Now, as far as all the Fisher and Weezer sauces and mm -hmm. everything, you have yeah. dozens, oh. right? Yes, we have a handful of lines of products that we make right in Fredericksburg at our production plant. And you can find them at HEB. So HEB has the moms and, um, you know, we just love to get all of these little easy uh, chop, pre-chopped vegetables and things like that at HEB. They have it all ready for a busy busy mom or busy wife or just and anyone. all these jars perfect things that even if it's not on your grocery list just go i need a couple yeah. of these things just to stick them in the pan or the beans and or they stay anything. good yes and then you're always set for something you can always stop and run in and get whatever you need that's fresh but if you have those things you got a good start oh. all right Deanna Fisher from Fisher and Weezer, thank you so much. Look Both of these are fantastic. And for more information and all of these great recipes, just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Oh, I love some. Enjoy. Next on SA Live, have you wondered what you should or shouldn't be eating to stay healthy? Dr. Deb Matthew has some swaps you can make at home. Stay with us. Well, you know when you get sick, obviously you want to feel better fast, and food can really help that. Something good, some yes, comfort food, it's right? Yes, comforting, exactly what you said. But Dr. Deb here says there is a right way to do that. That's right? right. There are some myths about what foods we eat when we're sick. So everybody knows that you should drink orange juice when you're right. sick or give it to your kids if they're sick because the vitamin C helps to boost your immune system. But, vitamin, or, but orange juice has so much sugar in it and sugar suppresses your immune system. So the sugar cancels out the benefits of the vitamin C. And that's all the added sugar that they put in well, it. Well, you right? know, oranges naturally have right. sugar, but they squeeze so many oranges in here. You've got all the sugar without the fiber. So much better to actually eat the whole piece of fruit with the fiber to get your vitamin C. Okay. Or just squeeze it out and have a nice, because fresh squeezed orange juice, there's okay. nothing but better than that. But you still lose the fiber. So, oh, okay. so what we want is okay. we want whole fruit, not fruit juice. Right. Oh. The second one that we want to avoid when you're sick is actually milk. You know, a lot of people find that when they have milk, it causes them to be more congested. So we don't have a lot of science to back that up, but a lot of people really notice that. So if you're already congested, here's a better idea. Let's make golden milk. So what we do is oh. we take almond milk mm. and we're going to heat it up and warm it because you want something warm, right? right. And we're going to add in some uh, ginger, uh -huh. and we're going to add in some turmeric. What do ginger and turmeric They are you? both immune boosters to help oh. your body fight off the virus. And then we'll give it a little squirt of, lemon, of uh, honey to sweeten. And you just heat it up. It makes a nice warm drink that boosts your immune system, and it's a much better choice. So is this kind of the doctor's version of a hot toddy? I suppose that would be true. <laughs> that would be true. Add whiskey to that and it won't curdle than the almond milk. <laughs> so here's the next myth is sports drinks. So everybody knows that when you're sick, you need electrolytes. And so uh -huh. we believe that we should be giving our kids sports drinks for the electrolytes. But they are also full of sugar. They are full of food colors, right, to get these crazy colors. You can get sugar-free ones, but then they've got artificial sweeteners, which are no better. So in fact, these are not healthful in any way. Instead, grandma was right, uh -huh. we want chicken soup. Yeah. Together, oh. electrolytes. So you've got the, I mean, the comforting warmth of it. Yes. But, so don't go for then the low sodium because well, the sodium is the electrolytes. So yes, sodium is the electrolytes. So we definitely want the healthiest chicken soup you can get. So homemade is best. Right. But if you're sick or your kids are sick, that's probably not going to happen. Right. So so try to find organic. Try to find the best quality. So this is an organic bone broth chicken soup. That would be a better option. But the best one that you can find. Okay. okay. So the next Pepper. one here is hot pepper. So spicy foods 
really open up the waterworks, right? If you've got a runny nose, you know it's gonna make things drain. But a better choice would be to flavor your food with garlic because garlic is a natural uh, immune system booster. It's like a natural antibiotic. So it will be good to help you fight off whatever you're fighting. Hmm. Okay. And now, keep people away. You need sweets. <laughs> Because it's going to make you feel good to have some chocolate. Yeah, you feel you feel sorry for yourself, yes. right? We know that when we're sick, and we want comfort cookie. food. We want things. Are, but of course, first of all, the sugar suppresses your immune system, and then second of all, you're not giving your body the nutrients that it needs to get your immune system to fight off the infection. So if you need a treat, go for the dark chocolate, at least 70% dark, mm -hmm. because that has antioxidants and immune boosters in it. So it's actually good for you, and you don't have to feel guilty. No. So this mm -hmm. would go good with the hot. Back to the hot time. Back to the hot time. <laughs> the lemon juice, right. the honey. And then he's mm. going to throw that right yeah. in. <laughs> yeah. But but on the series, because we were talking yeah. about this before, uh, and you said instead of the hot toddy, maybe hot tea. Mm -hmm. Yes. Good. Green tea with some lemon and some honey would be a great. It's soothing if you've got a sore throat. It's warm. And the honey and the, um, the lemon are immune right. boosters. Okay. That's good. Chicken soup. Mm -hmm. Grandma was right. That's Can't go great. wrong. <laughs> great information, yes. Deb. We appreciate that. For more information, of course, on Dr. Deb, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, whenever you're in trouble. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol. Well, on SA Live, a puppetastic performance from some of the characters from Paw Patrol Live. They're giving us a sneak peek before their big show this weekend. So cute, plus Lent season is here. No meat on Fridays, that's okay. You don't have to lose the flavor. We have some delicious options for you to try. That's tomorrow on SA Live. All right, somebody says, what kind of talk do you want? Go. What do you Ooh, want? George said, or Jorge, tacos de chicharron. Ooh, okay, and you told us where to go, too. Okay. Yeah. Cabo Bob's fish tacos. Oh, didn't you think about I, fish tacos? I know, tacos? okay. Lisa, barbacoa, guac taco. Ooh, and Big Red, of course, the perfect combination. Bean cheese and bacon tacos from Tacos El Rey. Okay, I gotta make a list here. Isada says, carne guisada oh, with yes. cheese. Oh, Carnic yeah. Carne with cheese, yes, 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 yes. And chicken tacos with jalapeno. Serrano avocado salsa and fresh Mexican cheese. Now I'm really, really hungry. Hey, we've got some tacos to enjoy yes. though. Look at those delicious tacos. Okay, we're out here. We, we decided to come outside because it's beautiful. We need oh some sun. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous out here. And these so, are from the squeeze box on St. Mary's Street. Yep, and guess what? You can get free tacos and free michelada upgrades mm -hmm. this Sunday mm -hmm. while supplies last at the squeeze box for their familia food and oldies event doors open at 4 p.m and the bar is family friendly until 9 p.m so swing by for a night of music food and drinks we've got our dos Equis here we've got our tacos here we've got sunshine we've got beautiful weather uh spring break is right around the corner you know i'm really excited because this day right here just makes me so happy i'm glad we came outside tomorrow we have paw patrol i'm so excited about that i might bring my little guy to come see <laughs> mm. Is it good? Yes. Any day is a good day for tacos, so I'm it, glad you guys shared. It's a taco in mm -hmm. the bright sunshine out here. We hope you have a fantastic Thursday. We are going to be back here right at 1 o'clock, like you said, Paw Patrol and a whole lot more on a hey, hey, Ted. Hey, Ted, give hey. me my tacos! <laughs> <laughs>